Where is the Centre of Europe? Part 2. The Issue of the Islands. In Where is the Centre of Europe? I presented some of the places that claim to be the geographical centre of Europe, including Sokovola in Poland, Pornoskes in Lithuania, Polatsk in Belarus, Landskrona in Sweden, and Mondoste on the island of Sara Ma in Estonia. And this video certainly sparked some controversy. Firstly, there were some viewers who thought Russia was Asian, not European, and should be excluded when calculating the geographical centre of Europe. Secondly, many viewers said it was wrong to bring remote islands of the Arctic or Atlantic into the equation. They also felt it was completely impossible for parts of Denmark, Sweden or Norway to be in the southern half of Europe. As a result, they felt that the geographical centre of Europe had to be further south or west than Poland, Lithuania, Belarus, Sweden or Estonia. Perhaps somewhere in Austria, the Czech Republic, Slovakia or Germany. Or maybe Ukraine or Hungary. I would like to make it perfectly clear that I'm talking about the geographical centre of Europe. This is not to be confused with a demographic centre, geometric median, or population centroid of Europe, which is the point to which the entire population of Europe has the shortest average distance to travel. Now, despite extensive research, I haven't actually been able to find any detailed information about Europe's population centroid. However, what my research has revealed is that the supposed population centroid of Germany is the town of Spangenberg near Kassel, in the state of Hessen, while a geographical centre of Germany is believed to be the village of Niederdorla, in the state of Thuringia, or Thuringen, as it is called in German. This region used to be part of the former German Democratic Republic, also known as East Germany. The present geographical centre of the European Union is near the village of Gartheim, near Würzburg in North Bavaria. As far as Russia is concerned, I strongly disagree with the idea that the whole of this country is in Asia. In reality, it's a transcontinental country. The European part of the country stretches from the Baltic to the Urals, while the Asian part of the country stretches eastwards from the Urals to the Pacific. About three quarters of the country's surface area lie east of the Urals. On the other hand, about three quarters of the population live west of the Urals. Even in the European part of Russia, there are some autonomous republics, such as Bashkortostan and Tatarstan, whose culture is more Asian than European. However, it was the Varangians, or Swedish Vikings, that founded the state of Rus and the city of Novgorod, or Holmgorod as it was originally called, in the 9th century. In any case, geographically, Western Russia has always been classified as a part of Europe. This means Europe stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Ural Mountains in the east. Hence the claims that the geographical centre of Europe may be in Poland, Ukraine, Lithuania, Belarus, Sweden or Estonia. I shall now turn to the issue of remote islands. It is indeed hard to believe that the geographical centre of Europe could be as far north as Sweden or Estonia. I might agree with the idea of remote Arctic archipelagos like Svalbard, Novaya Zemlya and Franz Josef Land being excluded when we calculate the geographical centre of Europe if they were made up of tiny islands and islets spread over a relatively small area. But they are not. The Svalbard archipelago belongs to the Kingdom of Norway, and includes Europe's fifth and ninth largest islands, Spitsbergen and Norrestland, with an area of about 39,000 square kilometres. Spitsbergen is significantly larger than the whole of Belgium. Norrestland has an area of about 14,467 square kilometres, making it slightly larger than Montenegro. The total area of Svalbard 
is more than 64,000 square kilometers, which makes it almost as large as the whole of Latvia. The easternmost point of the archipelago is Gremelpenten, on the island of Kitea, while its westernmost point is located on Rinskolsfolom, an island named after Charles I of England. Gremelpenten is further east than the Russian port of Murmansk, as well as Ankara, the capital of Turkey. Rinskolsfolom extends further west than Gothenburg, Copenhagen, Munich and Rome. The distance between Svalbard's most easterly and westerly points is about 480 kilometers. By way of comparison, the distance from Oslo to Copenhagen is 484 kilometers, while the distance from London to Düsseldorf is 483 kilometers. The northern tip of Svalbard and the Kingdom of Norway is on the island of Rossia, while the southern tip of Svalbard is on the island of Sørkoppøya. The distance between these two points is about 492 kilometers. By way of comparison, the distance from Paris to Zurich is 488 kilometers. The Russian archipelago of Novaya Zemlya is in the far northeast of Europe. Like New Zealand, it consists of two main islands, Severny Island and Yuzhny Island, literally North Island and South Island. With an area of over 83,000 square kilometers, it is almost as big as the whole of Austria and more than double the size of Switzerland. Severny Island is Europe's fourth largest island after Great Britain, Iceland and Ireland, while Yuzhny Island is Europe's sixth largest. Novaya Zemlya stretches about 813 kilometers from north to south. By way of comparison, the distance from Warsaw to Stockholm is 811 kilometers. Cape Flissingsky on Severny Island is the easternmost point in all Europe, including all its islands. At 69 degrees, 5 minutes and 8 seconds east, it lies on the same latitude as the state of Gujarat in western India. In fact, it's almost as far east as Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan, and Kabul, the capital of Afghanistan. This is why many people associate Novaya Zemlya with Asia. However, since the archipelago belongs to the Arkhangelsk region of northwest Russia and is in the same time zone as Moscow, it is technically in Europe. In other words, Europe extends as far east as Central Asia and India. The Franz Josef Land archipelago also belongs to the Arkhangelsk region. It is about 380 kilometers northwest of Severny Island and covers an area of about 16,134 square kilometers. Cape Flygely is the most northerly landmass in Franz Josef Land, Russia, Europe, Eurasia and the Eastern Hemisphere. Its easternmost point is Cape Olney on Graham Bell Island, which is named after the world-famous Scottish-born inventor Alexander Graham Bell. The westernmost tip of the archipelago is found on Alexandra Land, an island named after Princess Alexandra of Wales. The distance between these two points is 365 kilometers. By way of comparison, the distance from London to Paris is 344 kilometers. This is why I think it is acceptable to include these archipelagos when calculating the geographical center of Europe. On the other hand, I would certainly not include them when calculating the population center of Europe. In reality, Europe may have two geographical centers, the center of continental Europe, excluding all its islands, and the center of the whole of Europe, including all its islands. In future videos, I would like to present other locations that claim to be the geographical center of Europe, and possibly try to calculate the geographical center of Eurasia. In the meantime, thank you for watching and see you soon.